basically as a first step we need to do the sensor because they fit the sensor out normally component going to see this is at blue injector or sensor i can see at the moment it's clogged up see in that area otherwise i can't remove uh, this is the part number for the old one this hole i'm going to take a under engine management bing Welcome to the channel. I am Charlie. Today I got again Mercedes C220 Coupe 2016 model. Basically, you can see as it is engine management on and the warning for the tire pressure. However, I took it my computer report. One code for the engine management here we are got the faulty code p22 basically as a first step we need to do the sensor because they fit the sensor out normally component going to all over around they don't know where are they going to stand can't read anything basically as a first step I am going to do the knock sensor bank one and I will show you underneath what is happened. And same time uh, supply voltage GPS CPF no problem. Power supply lot of code for the power supply. However, now we know the faulty code I am going to delete all codes and have a look what's going on there is it allowed to delete the thing right all cleared now you can see the dashboard no warning light at all that's a bit lucky sign however I'm going to the engine section and try to take a live data Basically, I know by experience this computer not given much support for the like this problem. However, we'll see what happened on there. However, ash contain it says zero it shouldn't be zero but however because of the knock sensor faulty i feel it's not going to be work see the fluid level of dpf 91 percent that's a good sign that's mean the component uh, working fine and take a meter reading pressure bar working i'm trying to take a uh, details for knock sensor however uh, as i told this computer not support uh, anything for the knock reading anyway i'm going to underneath the car and show you what happened on this car let's go underneath with me i already remove bank one knock sensor the bank one bank two right behind that box this sensor very tight i apply wd-40 you can see here oily mark leave it couple of hours and remove it but it's a bit tight and we bit struggle but however it's durable then after that we are going to change this sensor <music> We need to follow the old wires. You can see underneath here, 
this is the sensor we need to remove and I'm going to change this sensor and same time before I install here I'm going to inject my DPF cleaning because this car use with this faulty nearly months out of time because of that I feel in this uh, DPF clog up then I'm going to inject the chemical from here after that I'm going to install new sensor here we got the new sensor somewhere from the Mercedes and also this is the other problem I'm always talking this is at blue injector or sensor I can see at the moment it's clogged up see yeah all evidence before I open I'll open and I'll show you yeah see the hole clogged up blocked then I'll show you this side you can see inside this hole all crystallized tiny hole there but it need to be bigger hole I'm going to clean that one also second step and I'll show you after that what we're going to do this is the old sensor I'll remove it from inside you can see oily mark WD40 around that area otherwise I can't remove uh, this is the part number for the old one a 0 0 0 0 this one also the same part number oh no slightly different 905 basically they done the modification for this one that's why the part number changed this is from Mercedes main dealer still unpacking however I'm going to open from behind right I open from back side this is the new one I'm going to install new one and after that I'm going to clean inside injector hole crystallizing thing you can see as it is all crappy thing like came out from the add blue sensor see all crystallized in the add blue now already I cleaned the hole I'm going to show how is underneath now now you can see inside hole here nice and clean remember early it's clogged up and you can see the hole inside nice and clean all nice and then I'm going to reinstall this AdBlue injector and after that I'm going to inject DPF cleaning stuff from here then after that I'm going to fix this sensor See, that's a DPF chemical, it's not any harm, then I'm going to inject through this hole. Uh, see the firm coming out never mind I'm going to this cap here go a little bit in right I already clean uh, at blue injector you saw and chain knock sensor bank one and also inject DPF cleaning chemical now I'm going to start the car.
and you nice three four raving yeah it says a good raving what i'm going to do i'm going to hold rpm 2500 and between 3000 and leave it another 10 minute running going to fix this tool here right i fixed this one and it's holding rev nearly 3000 i'm going to leave it like a 10 minute running after that i'm going to do the motorway road test we already left 15 minute running and i'm going to remove this one after that i'm going to connect my computer and have a look I'm going to take a code under engine management. Engine speed too high, the signal is possible after the pan event, current store because we know the problem. I rave the car. That's why the this problem at the moment no any faulty code for the DPF, I'm going to clear this one. Right. Again, check no codes. Then I'm going to the functional test, special function. <laughs> not here basically <clears throat> this one i can't regen with this computer basically this is big name but not doing much thing like this problems but however i'm happy with this one now i'm going to take to the motorway journey and now i'm going to zero the mileage now it's zero. Right, let's go to the motorway journey. Now already 3.2 miles completed. When I was two miles, I can see from the my side mirror, little bit white smoke came from the exhaust. Once I complete 3.2, now I can't see any smoke from exhaust. That's mean the region process start. That's also another good sign that's mean another 50 percent i can confirm we are success at the moment however i'm going to complete the motorway journey and after that i'm going to take a computer report out we'll see what's going on there at the moment i'm ready to enter to motorway half away motorway journey car driving very smoothly no any warning light all is going well. Right, you can see as it is, I went 19.3 miles motorway journey. No any funny warning light at the moment. I'm going to switch off the car and start again. Nothing again switch off again start after that i'm going to connect my computer and have a look any faulty code remaining for this problem I'm going to take a computer report mercedes i'm 
you will take a under ng management bingo you can see no faulty code right another successful job if you have a like this problem you know what to do follow this video take a good idea if you have any question comment suggestion please mention below i'll come back to you as soon as possible also this is mercedes problem i'm going to say straight because they are manufacturers not good or however faulty knock sensors we are normally doing like a at least four five jobs per week similar problem but however they need to sort out i don't know what's going on there but uh, anyway i know only one thing early that sensor around 600 something now they reduce the price until 400 another winning mark however to be honest to my feeling they need to recall this problem anyway i can't do much for the, that problem anyway if you have a like this problem you know what to do if you still not subscribe my channel please do it now and press bell icon then you can get a lot of useful video and tips like this thank you see you in the next video